Hello, everybody. We're back to more. Into the dungeon. Let's enter the dungeon. Let's go. Pilot. Uh, I think he probably has the weakest start. Like, the weakest, weakest, uh, very beginning. But there's something about the clothespin or the, you know, the paper clip that is very appealing. Um, the fact that you can't use it and keep your... And, or, and then use it, try to get the chest, and then use your key, though, does seem to be, like, a big hassle. Or, like, a, a big detriment to the character. But it might be perfect for us right now. Because what we... Wow, that uh, sucked. So what we need is um, to unlock the elevator shaft. And this way... We can just try to use our spacebar item on all the chests, and we get a chance to uh, to um, get something, and we get to save all our keys for for the shortcut. That's pretty cool, and it's pretty useful for us now. Hopefully, I would love it if we use it on both of the chests. I think there's always two chests on the first floor. Uh, I would love it if it worked on both of the chests. At the very least, at the very least one. That'd be awesome. Um, if not, oh well. Because we got one key already. I think you might always start with one key or it might be character dependent. Might be character dependent, I'm not sure. Maybe I should save that uh, for, whoop, for the big guy. These pillars are so handy. The, like the big sword fellas. Oh, shoot, I did not see you there. Uh, the big sword fellas go from kind of tough to really, really easy when you have any sort of cover. I can dodge through that entire circle. That's pretty cool. There's the boss. Not yet. No, thank you, not yet. I'm already down a whole heart. That's pretty bad, to be honest. But I gotta say, I do think this character, you know, the weakest. How should we get there? What did we get? Did we get something that wasn't... I'm confused. I, I could have sworn we got something that wasn't... Uh... Ooh, beehive. That sounds fun. I gotta save my money, though. Gotta save my money. Don't even look at this nonsense. Uh, just gotta hope for a key. And not, not care about that stuff. That stuff's probably cool. Probably really cool. I don't know what a beehive is. Might even be a weapon. Which would be so cool. But gotta care more about the uh, the elevator shaft. for Just for now. Just for now. Because if we can start from floor two, maybe we can... Well, at the very least, we'll figure out more stuff about the game. We'll figure out... Maybe it gives us uh, some special benefit to starting at that floor. Who knows? Here's gonna be our first chest. Please work. Didn't work. All right, rest in peace, chest. Thank you. I, I'm not even, not even mad. Not even mad. So wait. Ah, gonna stop moving for a second. So it's just his hair looks red in this little thing, right here. But it looks very brown on his actual body. I think it's supposed to be brown. Oh. Why did I do that? Why did I do that? Unnecessary damage. Absolutely unnecessary damage. Wow, that trick was actually very helpful right there. Really, really made a difference. Please, thank you. Oh, thank you so much. Wind-up gun. Huh? <laughs> Start to play the. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna save the ammo. I'm so glad, so so glad that we got uh, a gun on the floor before the boss. Because now there's there's a much higher potential. Ooh, and the second key. That's huge. 
Also, let's take a look uh, at nothing. Don't worry about it. Uh... Alright, let's just go for it. I don't want to even think about the cool stuff that we could buy in the shop right now. Gatlin, go! Alright, let's clear out all these bushes for a second here. I'm actually going to get rid of that. Because I have to feel like I'm more likely to take damage from that than he is. If I can beat the Gatling goal. Shoot! Without taking damage. <laughs> that sucks. I'm trying to figure out what's. Alright. It seems like it's getting. Stronger, at the very least, like the second half of the bullets are like little itty bitty lasers. I imagine they're doing more damage. Ah, uh, <laughs> that was really bad. This is definitely, uh, definitely the hardest first floor boss, like without a doubt. Like it's not even close in my opinion. Um, that's a bummer. Boom. What's this? Explosive rounds. I feel like we won't be able to tell what they do off of that. Just checking. There's nothing else on the floor. Nothing else on the floor. Doesn't even. I don't even know if we're gonna get enough money on the next floor for the soup shortcut. All you really need, it seems, though, is the ability to sell something on the second floor. Like you need the the grate to show up, and then it's like. You'll get 120, no question about it, if you, like, you can just, at the very least, sell junk. Alright, what do these explosive rounds do? Oh, it makes the bodies explode when they die, right? Ooh. Seems like it's a pretty decent explosion, too. Oh my word. That seems good. Seems like almost all of the, um, the rounds, like the special rounds weapons or items are pretty darn good. Espe Ooh, especially since explosions do stop bullets. That is such a cool thing and such an important thing to know, I think. That makes a lot of items, oops, significantly better. If it, like, especially for boss fights, oh man. I can just, I can handle these guys here. Oh, I wanted to make you explode. Oh, I thought you were dead. Oh, all right. I'm taking a lot more damage than I would like. I'd love to get, I don't know. Please tell me I got enough money soon. Chest, no chest. Wait, why did I think there would even be a chest? Teleporter. 77. I think it's very possible. If the shop has a selling thing, we can absolutely get it by selling whatever it is from the chest. Like, even if we sell junk, I'm sure we'll get it. You know what? The second half of the bullets seem to be maybe homing shots. I don't, I don't get what's happening with this wind-up gun. Like, there's obviously, like, that song is happening, so I'm trying to figure out if there's something special that happens if I let it finish the song. We're getting, we're getting a lot of money. Let's take a look at it in the Ammo Nomicon. Harlock has joined. Yep, okay. Decreases in damage output as the clip empties. Oh, the opposite of what I thought. Exact opposite of what I thought. So those little lasers are weaker. There's that gun we just had. Or we just unlocked. No thing to sell. Oh. 
Dang, nab it! No! Alright, I'm just gonna use the weak shots. Interesting gun. Very interesting. No. Oh my god, I'm gonna die already. Pilot. Ha <laughs> So as that guy's running, the guys that he's buffing are no longer buffed. Oh, nice. We got a third key. We're about to die. Uh, for the sake of science, we must continue. I think I gotta use my better gun. And it is better, even... Even when it's, uh, low on ammo. Or low on the clip, it, it still seems like it's a good gun. If we can manage to get the teleporter... Oh, cool. What's this? Helix. Ooh. Ooh. Scared. It's cool looking. It's slow to reload. Really strong on hit, seemingly. That's the boss. I don't want to fight the boss. Please, 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 please. Give me 11 shells. I just want 11 shells. What's your deal? Poison file. Potion of gun friendship. It's just another shop. That's awesome. I'm glad. I don't... I can't... I want to try something, though. Uh... Oops. How do we drop a gun? Oh, oh yeah, we gotta press the button. Rogue special. Alright, let's try to drop it. He won't buy it. Okay. Here we go. There's this again. Is there anything here, finally? Altar's empty. I've tried blanks on it. I just don't know what it- I just don't know what it's there for. If we die, we die here. I'm going to, I'm- for the sake of progress. Offer blood sacrifice. I feel like I'd die. Really feel like I'd die. But at the same time, I'm in low health, maybe- Maybe it wouldn't kill me. I'm gonna go back and look at that later. Ah! Potentially. All right. Come on. Oh, this is a pretty easy room. They typically kill themselves in it. Oh, thank goodness. 113. It's possible. Have a shot. I want to do it. Let's go around first. Let's go around first. We'll risk it at the end. Huh. That's so good. Wait, what are we at? Oh, we did it. All right, well, uh... Let's go up here first. We got the stuff. Nice. Got this for free too. Isn't this like a shield and maiden block and load? What does that do? Block and load. Use to block bullets. Oh, it's a space bar item. Oh, awesome. That's cool because we can have both of these since we are the pilot. Okay, that is interesting. It stops all movement. That wasn't just that wasn't just me. I really wish I didn't use it before the boss. But uh, here's the thing. This is the most important thing about this entire run so far. Boom. That's the most most parts taken care of. But I'm gonna have to order some things from the acquisitions department. Can you bring me ten? Oh man. Anyways, that is still, that is still the most important thing 
about this run. That is, that is awesome. It's going to be very helpful. We never have to do that specific thing again. If we die here, we die here to the ammo condo. I feel like this helix gun is going to be pretty good against this boss since um, he's so big that the helix is probably always going to hit him with both shots. Got scared there. I don't have any more of those. Guy's halfway done though already. Please? Yes! We did it without getting hit, suckers! Iron coin unlocked. Oh man, this helix gun is awesome. Master round second chamber. Void shotgun, we've had this before, I like it a lot. Guys, we're back in the game after sucking. Iron coin has joined the shootout. Awesome, we unlocked a new item. Well, it's one, two, three, four, five. So there's probably gonna be, yeah, there's probably five here. Does the game loop? What would be the point of having a fifth master round? What would be the point of that? I don't know. Any who enter the dungeon are doomed to remain. This one's also a little bit bigger. So maybe if you get one, two, three, and four, you unlock something. Possibly. That would be tough. Like if you get all of them in the same run, maybe you get something. All right, well, we got 13 shells. How much, uh, hedge, hedge of money? Hedge of money credits. I don't know, the hedge, I'll just call them hedge credits. That just sound like, I, li I like the name, it's kind of fun. But it's also awkward to say, let's just double check that there's nothing here for this price. It's, I like the name, but it is awkward to say, so I'm just gonna call them hedge credits. Because, yeah. Here on out. <laughs> Instead of questioning, Questioning how to pronounce it every single time I want to say it. I'm just going to say it that way. Boy, shotgun, you're pretty good, weren't you? Yeah, you are. Especially with those explosive rounds. So I'm... The only thing I'm not sure about is... Oh. Oh! I should have figured. Oh, well. If I would have been able to do that, that would have been really cool. Let's get the shotgun and the rogue special for now. I'm just not sure if the shots are, like, they explode on death, or just, it kind of looks like uh, some of the shots are just explosive, which is leading to them dying. Oh man, we are so back in the game. We put forth that a name such as thee could never clear this forthcoming room without dodge rolling perfect again. Oh, shoot. I need one more. What if they would give me this room? That'd be so sucky. Ah, uh, this looks like it's worth it. Key. Deckard. Unicorn of handguns. Hmm. The unicorn of handguns. I, I feel like it maybe is pretty useful because it's like that means it's does that mean it's rare? <laughs> Probably. I don't know. Ah, uh, we'll we'll use it for now. Ooh. Also, wait a second. Maybe, uh... Ooh. Maybe it typically only has one round in the chamber. Is anything low? The wind-up guns. Let's just go for it, because otherwise the rat's going to take it. Not the void shotgun. Let's take a look, because isn't... Let's look at the ammo now. Kind of. Uh... Increase active item capacity and maximum ammo counts. Probably he's talking, not talking about the uh, chamber. 
So let's go with that, that, and that. Because I think the Void, wow, the Void Shotgun's going to be something we, wow, want to save for the boss. But at the same time, this is one-shotting a lot of stuff. It's just a little inaccurate, though. Man, a little too inaccurate. It's got to be used a slightly closer up than I'd like. I'm trying to figure it out, really. How good it is. Because it's, it's strong. There's no doubt about that. When you attack those bubbles, they always shoot a, they shoot a bullet at you. In and out, real quick there. Oh man, little inaccurate. It's probably good that it is, because otherwise, it'd probably be nasty. Oh, but. Wow, I love the explosive rounds. I think that it's the uh, the way the RNG works is something like Isaac, where the slower your bullets or take to fire, the more accurate they are. Oh, you're in here too. Potion of lead skin, and then there's a barrel. There's also a lot of armor for sale, like a lot of armor. Definitely don't want either of those. Potion of lead skin. That was a. Uh, did I have that before? Is that one the space bar item? I think I might have had it before. Maybe not. Coolant leak. No, I guess it. I guess I haven't had it before. Yes, I have. Temporary invulnerability. Uh, that's seems like it's not going to be that big of a deal. The barrel is tempting. We have a lot of guns. What? Lock and load, right? Why did my map go away? <laughs> I thought that that uh, squid was going to attack me like he was offended that I bought from the shopkeeper instead of him. That'd be an interesting idea for an NPC. <laughs> oh, shoot. Table got me. Um, but yeah, I feel like the spacebar we have, I'm not, I mean, I haven't been using it. But, uh, I feel like it fills the same niche. Might as well just get some armor instead. Oh man, it's out. Alright, time to switch to something else. Uh, shoot. No. Let's get the wind-up gun in here, I guess. Ooh. It's kind of fun. It's it's kind of a fun weapon. It's a different sort of meta game, really. Got enough to buy more armor. I say we do it. This is the most armor I've ever seen on sale. It might be a good idea to buy some ammo though if we get another chance to. I love <laughs> I love the song. Might get a little annoying if I played an entire run with it. Ooh. It is, it's cool, though. I'm glad that uh, they made some sort of weirder guns, like, from a playstyle. What the heck? From a playstyle standpoint. Uh, come on, explosive shots. Come in handy here. Please, thank you. I'm just gonna fire them all. I was really hoping for an explosive shot. To knock him out there. <laughs> I can't get over this. It's so good. I don't think there's any any real special correlation with the song the song ending. I don't think that really actually means anything. I think it's just a fun thing to listen to. 
Is that oil or water? I think it's oil, because it's kind of like rainbowy. Probably will start on fire. I want to use my space bar item, but I have too good to use syndrome, like real bad with it. I think I'm going to save it for the boss. Yeah, all these tiny shots, I can... Oh, might as well just use them on the little bats. Dink, 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 dink. Yeah, it seems like dipping in and out of cover is the best idea with that one. Ooh. Come on. There we go. I'll save the Deckard for a boss. Let's go with the wind-up gun. Because the wind-up... The thing with the wind-up gun is it's good enough. Where's the regular pistol? There it is. The wind-up gun is good enough. It is an upgrade. Uh, awesome. Boomerang. What just happened? I feel like the paperclip is so is such a good item, though. Oh, dang it, I forgot to go back to that guy. Well, I don't have enough money. I just think the paperclip is, is good. I just... Uh, it's tough. You know what? Let's figure things out. Let's figure out what stuff does. I should really... I know I should be testing new items and stuff on rooms with enemies. I, I understand. This is my bad. There's boss. Don't want to do the boss yet. It looks like... I'm going to do the boss first, because otherwise I think we'll clear every room. And we won't have an option. Ooh! Hold on. Uh. Ooh, this works well. At the same time, I kind of want the helix gun. Let's use the space bar item here. What? Oh, that sucks. That didn't work very well at all. Oh. Okay, so it works pretty well. I don't get... Oh, it recharges really quickly. That's why you use it. So why did I, uh, why did I take a hit before? I'm, I'm pretty confused by it. I will be quite honest. Let's test it out here. The next time he does a big special shot. Okay. No, it seems pretty good. I was just bad. Easy peasy. Tread not squeezy. I could have done that without uh, getting hit. Had I not goofed around. What's this now? Someone loses an eye. We don't have money now. Or we don't have enough money to do to do this now. I forgot about it. Oh well. Maybe you'll give me a different offer. Please give me 21 in this room, because otherwise I feel like, ah, we won't be given the offer. God, what's happening? I thought I killed that guy. Is this gun good? It feels kind of just like a normal, normal old pistol. No, 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 no. All right. We got a lot of good weapons. We should use them. Oh. Uh, all right. Yeah, there, okay, there were no more rooms with combat. That was my bad. Let's go for it. We go, go ahead. Let's, uh, we're gonna leave the lockpick then. Onward for us. Gotta make sure to hold on to my hedge credits too. At the end of the episode, do not buy stuff. Well, it's just going to be like two solid runs. Here we are. You know what? Let's use the shade revolver and... And the void shotgun. We have something for long range and something for close range. 
The good thing about this pistol is it's quite accurate. Ah! Shoot. Nope. Nope. Yeah, this is such a strong, strong weapon for damage. Fight. Ooh, pretty blank. Don't mind if I do. going on here probably should have just flip for those all right what are we what's low on ammo is the helix low this the helix is probably our best gun at least for bosses God. might be this one might be the best damage wise Ugh. I just walked into that. Um. We'll roll with the... No, we'll, we'll roll with the shotgun. Seems like a nice combo. Just wanted to kill both with the same bullet. Or same shot, rather. Zombie! Zombullet! First shotgun. This doesn't scatter that much, which is awesome. It's just like a, it fires a nice, solid conglomerate of bullets. Uh, easy enough. Oh, oh, it's just a bat. Don't need to go that crazy for bats. This is a fun room. That body's kind of just floating there. What is happening here? This is... Ah! There's a thing following me around. No! No! That's where I die. That's where I die. You know what? Whatever. Am I right? Like I said, killed by a gunjurer. Like I said, we got the uh, the shortcut down. Well, it's not finished. But we got another thing for the shortcut. We never have to do again. We don't have to. I'm not gonna buy stuff. Not gonna buy stuff. One more one more run where we beat the second floor and we have enough credits, so we can beat the boss on the second floor, pick up the credits, go back on our next run, which is pretty cool. We never have to donate that much stuff that early ever again. Uh, maybe there will be a run in the future where we have to devote entire runs all the way up to floor three. I like donating stuff, but I mean, I'm assuming that that's how the shortcuts are going to work. Uh, but, you know, cool. I I'm happy. I'm happy we got that part out of the way. Um, the credits are going to be easier. Because that's more of like, you're handicapping yourself out of the actual game. It's like metagaming. Like, if you don't have more unlocks, that's what you're trading. Ten, like, ten credits. So that's like two item unlocks for progress. That's not that big of a deal. I'd rather do that than trade, like, in-game items that I need to get stronger. I'd rather do that. Who the hell are you? Scram. Not in the mood. I'm off duty. Oh, he's the, uh, the game guy. Yeah, and then, all right. Is there anybody else here that's new before I stop? There's a fridge over here. Looks a little bit suspicious. Huh. Yeah, and there's nobody else over here. Have you seen the misguided spirit, Sir Manuel? He's stuck in those halls, lost sad, really. Ha <laughs> ha. That bird was here before the great bullet struck. He's no one's pet now. These two ruffians, the gun dead toughs. Did they put up much of a fight? Oh, that's cool. He's got a lot of things to say. I'll have to talk to him more. That's pretty cool. I wonder if, uh, what's the deal with, if Blockner's gonna be coming or not? 
Because I thought, I thought he said something like, I don't know. Eh, well, that about does for this episode here. Thank you for watching. I really greatly appreciate any and all support you guys left on this series up to, the point, up to this point. Subscribe for more Gungeon. Gonna try to do it basically daily. Like if you like it. Don't if you don't. Comment if you have something to say. Don't if you don't. Thank you everybody for watching. Thank you, thank you. See you next time.